I think the promise of lean today is that it's an antidote to the purely technology thinking. The thinking that technology is the answer to everything and we just have to get on with it. This is saying actually people are important and people as customers are important, people as employees are important and people are going to be absolutely central to making these complex new technologies work and are going to be central to building organizations that are flexible to respond as we experiment with these new technologies which are unknown we don't know the consequences we don't know what's going to come from these so it builds agile organizations so it builds people centric learning organizations that are fit for the future i think digitalization provides a platform for greater communication between the leaders and the front line in the organization between design and production between customers and the organization itself so actually the problem is not the technology it's how we build organizations that use the technology so the opportunity for digitalization is connecting people and connecting the lessons that people learn as we engage everybody in improvement and accumulating those lessons and building them into the next generation product or service. So that's the promise of the digital technology. It's really a mindset change, of course, for the older generation that didn't grow up with this technology. So we're in an interim phase until the digital guys take over. Well, traditional managers in a top-down hierarchical organization with big silos and so on are preoccupied with external strategy and setting budgets and allocating resources and enforcing apply application of those uh, of those systems that they've that they've commissioned to be designed a lean organization does it the other way around it's basically an organization that grows from building competences to respond to changing circumstances very quickly rather than waiting for top managers to make a decision, draw up a plan, try and implement the plan, by which time circumstances have changed again. So it's actually what we call leading from the ground up. It's creating the competences in the front line to respond to unknown circumstances and to ch constantly changing circumstances. So that's why learning is central to this next phase of organization development.